yeah, massively excited. Um, obviously watched them the last few weeks of the season and they seem to be in a pretty good place. So excited to join the club um, um, try and try and bring my skill set and uh, add on to what they've already got. Uh, yeah, I um, watched the semi and the final and I think it's pretty fair to say uh, they're probably the best games I've seen. Um, I think most people would agree with that. Uh, so yeah, no, it was exciting to watch. Um, Obviously, the, the the whole group will be in good spirits. It's just exciting. It's just an exciting place to uh, join. Uh, I was at Bath for five years. Um, loved my time there, but I think it was time for a change. And um, Harlequins, Harlequins seemed to fit the way I wanted to play perfectly. So, really excited for the for the times ahead, and hopefully, it works out well. Yeah, I guess I looked around a bit, um, and like I said, the way Quins play fits my game perfectly. Um, so, I want to go throw the ball around, attack into space. Uh, so, like I said, the the, the way they play kind kind of fits like um like a jigsaw. So happy does. Yeah, I'm quite fortunate to know five six of the lads, maybe even more. Uh, like I said, from playing when I was younger. So hopefully that helps me settle into the team, and um, it's it, it's good having those bonds already. So I know Jeff Chisholm, Aaron Morris, and uh, those lads, um, Joe March, and, and yeah, there's a. There's a few boys that I know, know pretty well, so it'd be exciting to see them again. And uh, have you had a chance to catch up with them and tell them that you're coming down and sent a few messages? Yeah, I spoke to a couple of them. I spoke to Cheers a few times, but it's pretty hard to get a normal conversation out of him. So um, that was interesting. And then, like I said, yes, but, but Aaron and I have actually moved in just around the corner from him. So, no, it's, it's really exciting for me and my partner and we're looking forward to it. For any Harlequins fans who might not have watched you with a close eye. What would you say is sort of your playing style and what are you hoping to bring to this club? Um, I'd like to say uh, quite quite an attacking player. Uh, want, want to play with a smile on my face and have fun, um, but also play to space and um, try, try and exploit the other teams where we can. Yeah, so I've, yeah, I've worked with Tabs before. Um, he was there for a, a couple of years or so when I was at Bath. So. No, it's really exciting. I think he's a great guy, great coach. Uh, he'll bring a lot to Quinns and, yeah, can't, can't, can't wait to work with him again. What is he going to What is he gonna bring to Harlequins? What are some of his traits that you see in a Tabai Matson team? Um, from the outside in, it already looks like Quinns is a really tight group, but that's something he'll, he'll want to encapture and work on. He likes to bring the squad together um, 100%. And then just, just, just the way he sees the game is exceptional. He wants to score points. He wants to. He wants the lads to enjoy it. So, I think for the Quinns fans, they've got lots, to, lots more to look forward to. Are you looking forward to meeting the Harlequins fans and playing at the Stoop? Is that an experience that you've had before? Yeah, uh, pretty. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky to play there a few times. Um, played there when it was packed out, and then played there when there was just I think a thousand or two thousand um, in the first in the first lockdown of uh, the, the COVID period and. It was just a fantastic experience. They were noisy, they were loud, they were passionate, but they were also very respectful to the, to the uh, other team. So, no, I, can't, I can't, can't wait to meet them all and finally play at the Stoop again.